Sin, the dominion of sin. That's what we should be concerned about. But when you are now born again, sin is not the, it does not have dominion over you again. The matter now is self. Because the problem of Lucifer was not sin. The problem was ah, self. You see now, you know, you know, I wish I had that. You know, the way he took him to the pinnacle of the temple. Not of the club. That is why, that is why, if the devil wants to destroy a church girl, as a church boy uses. You if you see a guy smoking, will you fall for him? Smoking and sagging. Would you? Even in the old, that's, hope you know that. Have you ever smoked in your life? No. But before you give your life to Christ, were you smoking? No. Now, is smoking your te- a temptation? No. Even though you're not born again? No. So not smoking is not a victory. And Satan will never tempt a cat with salt. I, I follow that. Are you there? So that is why, that is why Satan uses a package that appeals to you. A package that appeals to you. It rebrands. Sometimes it turns to an angel of light. So if he wants to get you as a bro, <laughs> the simple thing is in the church. Take you to the pinnacle of what you are used to. So the temptation is in the ministry. So don't do, you know, you cannot do boyfriend and girlfriend. Can, can you? But you can go into courtship. No, sir. No, no, no. We're not, it's not my girlfriend who we are courting. When a courtship, when a courtship is, you know, there's anything in the Bible that you not date, you know? So, begged. The things that happen in the courtship is worse than what happens when a boy and a girl are doing boyfriend and girlfriend. So the, the same thing, different package. The same anger, but it's called holy rebuke. <laughs> so I'm not angry. I'm not angry. No, 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 please. Nobody say I'm angry here. Come on. It's, it's a holy rebuke. <laughs> it comes. It has to be the temple. It has to be the temple. It has to be the temple. Kai. So since the guy cannot go to the bank to rob, it takes you just go and join the financial unit of the church. So where is the time it is now? All his life, he has always wanted to be known. See, see. Yes. He has always wanted to be known. I cannot be small in my life. I must be a great person. I must be known all my life. <laughs> now he is born again. Now he is born again. And the nearest place to be known is to be an emoji. And he looks. Dob saved. Dob saved. There's a statement I want to make now. If you want to step on some those tools or some doctrinal guys, is those saved but not safe. Because it's an eternal, eternal salvation, not eternal security. Yes. Eternal grace, rather. Not eternal, eternal grace that you can leave to your father's house. Oh, prodigal son. You can leave. And as long as you remain out there, you, can, you will perish 
with the pigs. Eternal security will, it looks like eternal imprisonment. That you cannot, that the prodigal son, you know, he cannot even be prodigal. And as I know, the son can never be, if he wants a son, always a son, can never go out of father's house. <laughs> Joke. You want to go, you want to enjoy, you want to use, ah, you want to use the privileges of your sonship for yourself. Take. Take. And the guy took it and went far away to a country. And he stays among pigs. Still wallowed among pigs. That's why you see Christians like this. They are wallowing among pigs. The guy says, I'm a son. I'm a son. But one thing in faith to understand that even the guy in hell, Abraham looked at him and said, son, 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 where are you, hell? He cast away. Not safe. So the guy now, now you see that if now, now he's born again now. He's born again now. So the next, when eight times they are worshiping, the guy is looking. Ah, how come it's only these guys are on stage now? Ah, and the, you know, the guy was like, Sir, I'm born again, Obed. What does it take? How much does it take to have this power? Remember the guy now? How much can I pay now? I need this power. <laughs> I'm born again now. But you know, there's this attention I used to have. This attention that I be with, I be with the whole land. Anyway, I'm going to the say, What's the guy's name? Is it by Jesus now? Or is it Simon? What's the guy's name? It's Simon. It's the sorcerer. Simon, Simon, Simon. Everybody, Simon, Simon. Then now, Simon is born again now. And the only people that everybody is running around is the apostles. The apostles. The apostles. Apostle. Apostle. The apostles. Ah, man of God. Man of God. And what's that? Those apostles. Paul. Apostle Paul. Ah, Apostle Peter. It's, ah, it's like, oh, these are things I used to. You know? And nobody comes in this direction. Sister, how much does it take to buy this thing? <laughs> how much? Carry for look at the gall of bitterness. It's a gall of bitterness in you. You never. So, the guy, bitter. The guy went direct to bitterness. That is the worst of the flesh. Not Satan. Bitterness. Is there having some bitterness against them? Now only them. Now only them. So he is now insisting to be on the stage. Pride of life. To be on the stage. And he insist that they give her mic to lead worship. Because I must not be hidden. I must not be hidden. So it's time he's worshiping. He's worshiping and he's uh, where the camera guys. How come uh, it's now my turn that I'm leading and none of them is even coming around? Come on. I, I've been telling that not this way that he hits me. No, uh, also in his, <laughs> in his heart. Like, God, God, God. Of all people, it's me that did not snap. It is me. So when he goes to the pictures, Kai. And you know, <laughs> the first time it was a mistake. It's a mistake. Second time again, bitterness. This time he's talking to the, the, those guys in, in media. They are not, you guys are not doing your work at all. <laughs> Whose work? <laughs> but it's not a spoil at this stage. It was a normal. It has not met him at first yet. Yeah. Nothing. Initially, it's just a normal love. The lost of the flesh. It's just normal love. Everybody, everybody marries. So there was here was a young guy, Dave, saw a guy, a lady, Micah. And you know, and Saul said that, see, Dave, if you can 
if you can go to war and bring the first king of 400 people. First king. If you can cut their private parts, I will give you my daughter. Ah, David. Now, Paul did not, I mean, Saul did not tell him. Go and kill the enemy of nations. That will not make sense. Because if it's about the kingdom, hmm, waiting day this thing for me. So we say, there is need. There is need in the kingdom. He's not concerned, the guy. One pastor came to church on Sunday morning and said, God told, God told me that um, anyone that is going to give is going to be blessed. God told me emphatically, um, is it 10K? Is it 10, 10K? Everybody rushed out, rushed out, rushed out. And they dropped, they dropped. After dropping, see, see, let me tell you, God told me nothing. Because the same, I've been telling you, now we have this project to do. To, 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 I've been shouting, all of you. Now, since I now say, God has told me you'll be blessed. Be blessed. And that's why, that is why, if you're a man of God, if you can really man, if you see, I have, okay, but do you have a plan for ministry? Let me teach you something. <laughs> I can say that's it. Which of you, let me teach you a style. A style. Do you want to prosper? You see these three things. Use it. If it's in this world, it will sell. Tell them if you can give. I'll give you how many days. You will be blessed. You. Not about the kingdom. You. You. How come the need of the kingdom does not matter to you until it has to do with self? The man of God has to think of how to connect it with you before you can be touched. How? David do not care about the kingdom until they told him, if you can kill 400 of our, of our enemies, we'll give you a woman. And you see David running, running. You know like, you know Spartans? Spartans. And they say, oh God, Dave, why? 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 That is the matter now. These are, that, that's the biggest question in this whole thing. I'm telling you, the biggest question in this matter is why? Motive. Motive. If you can address this motive matter, forget it. We have got in Satan. <laughs> this motive matter. Why? Even as I'm standing here now, why? Why? It's not what. Why? So when you see David, mm, mm, skilling, say what a love for the kingdom. God, bah. and in fact they almost killed him one time. Just, <laughs> and everybody was like, hey, this guy loves the kingdom, and heaven is looking. God, this guy, because if they have killed him in his funeral service, they say, oh, our hero is passed. Who labored for the nation? Or the man who, a man of the kingdom, who spent his life and was spent. A man who, for the rest of all the days of his life, his life he lived for the kingdom. Till even went to the war. And he died for the Lord. And I think, you know, it's not easy to be God. Because that's where your shock is going to come. For who? For who? Let me ask you, why are you this passionate? Why are you this passionate? Why are you the first? Do you know if you had told that Simon the sorcerer, that sir, don't worry, seven days first, Dry. Hope you know you do it. The guy will fast. You will see Simon. Simon, you will see Simon. Ah, Simon. Are you fast? Yes. I'm on fast. Ah, wow, wow, wow. This guy, I think God is working on him. Because this is the guy that was a herbalist that time. See, 
you see, the first, the last shall be the first. And the first. Now, Simon, the other day, look at some of you here, you have been in the Lord for years. You were never fast for two days. Look at Simon. Seven days. Simon, come and tell your story. <laughs> Seven days. Seven days fast. And heaven is like, ah, ah, but why? But why? All Simon was aiming at that he can be great again. That he can be great again. When he was in the world, hmm, what I want to say now, don't overstretch it, but just leave it the way I want to say it. When he was in the world, he uses talisman to fight. You know, you see the guy he, in the village just be, because I go slap you. He just, if I slap him like three times before, because of what he's carrying in his waist, a talisman. That's why I carry in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Now he's born again, he's now a man too. And he's moving about. <laughs> because there's a man to one anointing over here. He's hiding somewhere. The same thing. It's just a change of nomenclature. A change of association. Am I saying he's not born again? Yes, he's. But he's typical of this word. In his actions. In his lifestyle. He, they, 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 can, they have canal men. We have natural men. He's no more a natural man, but he's a canal. Say, so, you guys know canal? I speak to you as canal. Paul was speaking. How come you have started? Oh, foolish Galatians. Galatians 3 verse 3. How come you have started in the spirit, but you want to perfect it in the flesh? But why? He doesn't have a relationship with God anymore as long as he has a man to. The 21st century idolatry. He doesn't pray anymore. If you can just hold your seat, if you can just say, How much? How much? Man of God. So, as the man of God is speaking, he said, When the man of God said he had. 70 days fast. Ah, 70 fast. Ah, 100. I'm moving mine to 100. So the guy is fasting. He's fasting. You look at him. Ah, why? You see him? You see the guy like this? They say, the man's 42 hours stonging. This is all he takes. Shut up. Even Bishop was talking about the other day. Ah, so this arm goes to be like Bishop. I remember when, when Apostle came in the other day and he came out of his car and everybody was like, Now, no, no, as we are hearing these things, <laughs> you say, What a man of fire! A man of fire. But all that he's looking at is Apostle Venza. The pride of life. Oh God. Oh God. Help us. So, so even, you know, we have the spirit level, we have the flesh level. So even his spirituality is a boost to his flesh. Even his spirituality. Because you know, everybody, everybody they are talking. <laughs> this is what they are. When people are praying, <laughs> oh, this is about babes. When if let me come and see. So in his room, he sleeps his life out. But give him mic. Give him mic. Then you hear tongues of angels. Those are tongues.
one of us. You have to give up all. Then the Lord of your life chooses who is the next. Not bringing from the word and say, Lord, while I was coming into the kingdom, I came with someone. Please, can you accept this one for my sake? <laughs> then here is someone carrying those besetting sin, those weight, weight. The guy is running, the, he's here, running, running. See, sir, I don't know what's wrong with my spiritual life. The weight you brought in. You brought in a weight. Each time your prayer life goes up. Why? You didn't come to this kingdom alone. And ideally, everybody must go to the veil alone. Alone. The pride of life. As long as he's not the one in charge of the unit, he doesn't listen to anyone. No. But he's still in the kingdom. That is the terrible thing about this thing. If you have left this kingdom, you would have known that hey, you are gone. If you are cold, you will know you are cold. If you are hot, you know you are hot. But this issue of lukewarmness, I, 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 is this water cold? Is this water? If it's ice cream, I know it's ice cream. I'm, if it is hot tea, I know it's hot tea. But this one now is ice cream and what? Yeah. It's like pouring a, an ice cream. Ice cream, ice. You know, pouring a hot tea. You say take it. You know, which day was I? I was saying about this man. How some people just they don't just want to face one thing. They want to combine everything. You just come to a restaurant. You say, okay, give me soup, uh, okra. Uh, just mix okra and uh, and a uh, goosey. And uh, what else do you have? Still, mm, good. Then, then, Oga, waiting you won't shop. <laughs> waiting you won't shop. Because you want to combine. Waiting. Is it is it is it is it, is it bread? Oh my my what do you want? That's a, a lot of us want to combine everything in this kingdom. Neither cold nor hot, and everything mobbed up together. Ah, are you getting what I'm saying? so okay? We should not put on tattoo. Let me see if I draw Jesus. So, it, what do you want? <laughs> I did not know. Nobody should judge me on this matter. I did not know. We we're doing quiet at that time, and the guy was teaching us song. Oh Lord, you are good. Holy Spirit is in me. Emmanuel, you are good. Oh Lord, I love you. <laughs> oh Lord, you are good. <laughs> I did not know what I was singing. Uh, you know, the elders did not know what we were singing because they didn't know what was going on. So, ah. until I heard this square, I said, oh, yeah. I love you. <laughs> oh, Lord, you are good. <laughs> so, Abba, oh God. If you want to sing Bob Marley's song, just sing that. Right? I hear what I'm saying now. Because Abba, we know feed the door now. Let's just do this thing so that at least I will not still miss the word. I will not miss the word. Lord. But is Jesus not supposed to be enough? Is Jesus not supposed to be enough? Let 
Let every part of me hunger for you until nothing is left. Let every part of me hunger for you until. What do we want? Is it Jesus or the both? This is one of the reasons why you see believers when, before you know, before you know their lives, are, these are people that seem to be loving the Lord. Now, where is gossip in this kingdom? You are. How would you? A leader will give you instructions. And this issue of, is this, you know, you know, you were a very arrogant person from before you came to this kingdom. But the arrogance follows you. They will give you instructions. You will not do it. If you are like that. You are like that. You will not do it. Your flesh level is high. Because there is something in you that rebels against instructions. Abba, whenever they say, you sit down. You know, you may sit down. You know, a, a child sat down. A father, father said, sit down. She sat down. But he said, daddy, I may be sitting down, but my heart is standing up. You know, and that's not, but it's because I respect you. That's what some people do. Sir, it's because I respect you. So even in their attitude, you see that this person, he has not given up. He has not given up. I, he can't stand an instructions. She can't withstand an instructions. If he's not the one as a leader, as a leader, anything that the person says, her heart boys. That's a Christian. Her heart boys. And if he has a way, she will recruit others. The painful part of this is that the person is in, still in the kingdom. And that is worse. If the person is outside, he will ask for a savior. But what would you preach to someone who uses the Bible as a weapon for sin? What would you say? What would you say? The person is already here. That is a, that is a painful part of it. If you are no more in the kingdom, we know we will go for you. We, when we go for outreach, we follow you. We will come after you during our outreach. But what now do we say when you are now the one following us for outreach that you have not been reached? You have not been reached. That is why what I am preaching is not outreach, it is in reach. In reach. Those who have been reached from out that are in needs to be reached. Because this thing in you, anytime they give instructions, you are you can see somebody ahead of you and you can talk down on the person gallantly. That is not of Christ, it's the works of the flesh. Is the works of the flesh. Oh God, help me. Because the painful part of it is that this thing follows us to church. James chapter 1 verse 13 to 15. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted <laughs> when he's drawn away by his own lust and enticed. You know, you know, I was talking about Dave. We have not finished the job. Now, let me tell you how, how the thing evolves, how it evolves. When then when lust has conceived, someone said conceived. I mean, love gives it, it, it gets pregnant. And you know, you know, ah, the girl did not know that thing that happened. She's pregnant already. One month passes. You know, you've seen signs, and maybe it's just fever. <laughs> Vomited. No, you're going to see that thing. Two months. Okay, okay, okay. Start feeling cold and. Then Lord, 
that thing that will bring embarrassment to you, I bought it. I bought it. I bought it, Lord. You know, today we, we are going to pray for spiritual abortion. Abortion. Those, those fleshly attributes that are growing, they may not be seen yet, but bring out sin conceivably and sin when it is finished give birth to death so initially it was just you know this thing god help us this thing is that small small dave normal thing today is he saw dave running about it was michael of course a young guy is you know running after a girl is a bad thing to marry David just is Micah. Every young man should marry. Now he has got him Micah now. Is that also? You would think that that would be the end. And now, that running after a girl, now that you are married, it should be okay. But no, it's a conception. It's a conception. Then one day, the painful part is on the rooftop and you know you know the devil wastes you when you get to the rooftop because there's a point where you fall from it won't pay you you just fall you see that's why you know some of those things in your life that you are pampering the devil is aware he waits till when you get to a height where your fall will could go beyond restoration because it's a time we just mess up, you just confess, that is all. I'm sorry, that is all. I'm sorry could solve your problem. But there's a stage in your life where I'm sorry, it's too late. The roof stop. That thing in the bedroom that you refuse to address will embarrass you at the rooftop. It got to the rooftop. And it's so bad, Sheba, taking a bath. <laughs> and in every, every, in every point in your life, there will always be a bath, Sheba, taking a bath. <laughs> that you're on the rooftop in your life does not mean bath, Sheba, should stop taking bath. There will always be temptations. That matter appeared again. They started watching pornography. You know pornography? Started watching it. Initially, it's just pictures. Now, full blown. Not just in the heart again. Because now, it, before it started with the heart, they had nobody could know. They thought it was just, just to marry a girl. That's why I was doing those things. Those small, small things. Just to marry a girl. Not knowing that this thing, it will graduate. Until, because every conception must come out. Every conception. You can't hide pregnancy for long. No problem. Be hiding it. A time will come. When you get to the maternity, nobody claims virginity at that point. Who can claim virginity at the maternity ward? You, at this point, the devil leaves you alone. Because sin is out of the way, there is now death. So, David started watching full blown. He said, Bring now I have power. Before, I used source power to fulfill my lust. Now I have the power. So bring that girl for me. That thing that started like a joke with that girl, now he has the authority. Now, before now, he was vision in his heart. Now, now he has 100 people as a protocol. And now, and they, they will just line up as it's coming. Bah, bah, they'll be clapping. They'll be clapping. Somebody collect the Bible. Somebody could bring water water. Somebody is full. You know, just 100 people. Somebody is just, they are running after the carpets. Hey. And I shall be like God. And his heart now. All this is why he was wishing. Before he was just craving for, for microphone. But now he is the owner of the microphone. And he can say whatever he likes. Oh God, before he kills me, he kill it. Get to come out and say, Lord, that thing in me, that thing in me, that you don't like, take it away, kill it.
Philip say, bring her. Because now he has authority. Say, bring her. And he slept with Bathsheba. <laughs> I had a ballad of what was Micah now? What of Micah? You know, this issue of lust, ba, it only changes garment. But the same person. So because you would think that the problem was Micah. So my problem is the girl. Is the girl tempting me? Is the girl tempting me? If the girl is out of the way, there's still another girl. If you don't deal with it, it only changes garment. That anger, anger. Now, when we were, we were discussing yesterday about honor, honor is not just about the person, it's about you. It just changes its objects. So, evolution, metamorphosis. So now, David have slept with, now before it was a normal girl. And do you know? You know, if you check the affair between him and Micah, there's nothing sinful. There's nothing sinful. Because there is a time where the flesh can decide to use a tool that's not sinful. But it's the same thing. Now, the thing has graduated to sleeping with a married woman. And when he saw that, ah, this woman is pregnant, he said, it went into, you know, in the, that program we went to, that you were preaching, you said, sin does not work alone. So that word in my, is in my head. Thank you, sir. You see, sin does not work alone. And I remember and the analogy was we were given that program. You know, and you see, when it begins with anger, and then, then unforgiveness, then murder. Dave lost now has brought in deception. He said, Go and bring the man. He said, Go and sleep with your wife. Oh God, are you the one, have you been the one telling me to sleep with my wife? He said, But today, he was not, give him alcohol to drink. Man of God. How did he get to this point? He don't say. He just like goes to the rooftop. He didn't follow me to the rooftop. He said, Give her give him alcohol. The guy drank. Drunk is this is sir. I may be drunk. It's not about it. It's what is in me. I have loyalty for the kingdom. All your life you have been living for yourself. But me, I may be drunk. Instead, say, ah, he's still sleeping at the gate. He didn't go home to sleep with his wife. Because what David wanted to do was that you, you sleep with his wife. Ryan will sleep with his wife. And will be carrying his baby. So David will be seeing his the child. How Raya will be carrying. Say, sir, this is my baby. Come for name is Ramon, and David will come and give a name to the child. I say why well, I celebrate you, but in his heart. He and the lady knows who has the child. On all his life, he will live without deception. And how did he get to this point? It's don't tell. And since the guy refused to bow, he said, take him when the when the war is. Look at this innocent man who David would have said, Wow, you could you have loyalty, but no, so many things are stake. I don't you don't uh, plenty things don't spoil. At this point, yeah, I know the way this thing works is that one step metamorphosis at a time, things keep getting worse. The earlier you go back the better. If not, it keeps getting worse. David has reached a point now that I say, when the war, the battle is hot, throw him to the middle and make sure he dies. What did Uriah did that was wrong? He was just a good man. But the badness of David has led him to his early grave. Okay, sir. That's how David killed an innocent man. Shouldn't that be enough? One day he was coming, he wanted, he wanted a man to give him some things and his servant to eat. What's that guy? Nebal. Nebal. Okay, okay. And he saw 
he saw he was going to kill Nebal because Nebal did not meet his name. And he saw Nebal's wife. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And when he saw the way Abigail was speaking, Abba, Abba, that thing in him again. Guy, what is this? What is this? What is this? He was waiting. How is Nebal now? Is he still alive? So, you know, he, 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 know, he, he can't wait. He has graduated to the point where he can take away the husband of a woman. So, how is his neighbor now? We said, ah, neighbor is sick. Oh, eh, good. <laughs> okay. Please keep checking on him. As soon as the neighbor died, he said, hey, can you marry me? He went to marry Abigail straight. Even while she was still mourning the husband. Dave, you. Prophet Nathan says you. When you were nothing that the Lord took you. You are not like this. It graduated to the point that even in Hebron, he started gathering wives. He graduated to the point that even when he was old, he still brought a, a, a virgin by his side. See, they know that is what he likes. They didn't follow the guy there. Oh God. Before he kills me, kill it. Because that thing that is growing with you, though you are speaking in tongues, I wish tongue can kill it. David is a musician, sir. So even all those times you go to the temple, we celebrate this thing is still there. This thing is still there. And if you don't, if you don't wash out for that tree in the garden, it will take you out of the garden. Because whether you like it or not, that tree will remain there. They have, they have weaknesses in you that may never leave you, but must not bring you down. They may, the propensity may be there, but you say, oh God, this thing will not. That stay away from that tree because it is that thing that you must surrender every day of your life as you wake up you say this weakness will not bring me down today as you wake up the day you forget of the garden the tree in the garden the day you forget it you now forget that there is something in you that keeps trying that pride every day you say lord i know there's a pride in me that always wants to bring me down but lord this pride will never today i bring it to the cross every day of your life you say lord i die daily not once and for all, every day. Every day. What is this tree doing in the garden? Is doing is there so that you will not, by the abundance of the revelation, be puffed up. Hmm. Say, Lord, but Lord, take this thing away. Three times I've told the Lord, take it away. Oh, no, 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 no. It's for your good so that your obedience can be tested every day. But don't water the tree. Don't water the tree. Stop hanging around it. The problem is, if they hang around the tree and observe it, say, ah, it's not that I'm born again now. It's not that I'm born again now. Hmm. You know your problem is drunkenness. Now go to the, you now go to beer parlor and say, if not, you know, you say, I don't give my life to Christ. Eh? You know, so your problem is the problem of if who goes around the tree and be observing, and be observing, and sit and say, Alpha, you say you've been looking at it. Me too, I've been watching you. Eh? Alpha. Now, at, at that point, you now come to the point of negotiation, then transaction. Walk on me, please walk on me, Holy Spirit, my mother. Walk on me, please walk on me. Come and do what only but I can do. Come and do what only but I can do. Walk on me, please walk on me. Spirit, my mother, walk on me, please walk on me, come and do what I can do, come and do what I can do. Please burn it away. Come and do 
Sa selisim bas metando Kamando Wa toliko smit kando Barita we the flash away but it's away but it's away but it's away Sadamila, that is a pity to the bottom. I don't 
Jesus, settle down, settle down, we just have a few minutes left, but listen, the problem was not the seed, the Lord planted a genuine seed, but a tear was planted alongside, the spiritual life is growing, but the pride is growing alongside. And they discovered and said, but, uh, but the master planted a genuine seed, a good seed. Where comes this one now? Where comes this thing now? This is a guy. When the guy preaches, you are wowed, but a pathological liar. <laughs> but the right seed was sown. Where comes this stone? It's a white man slept. The enemy planted the tears. And it's growing alongside. And one bad, bad thing about this thing is that it is waiting till when the seed has grown, then it shocks it. That's a problem. The roof stop. The roof stop. When the seed has grown, that which has been growing alongside waits till then. Women, the firstborn. For he was the firstborn, but, but, but. Unfortunately, this kind of thing is not Satan. Satan is only a distraction. Because if the flesh is addressed, Satan will not have a place. Because they came and they found nothing of theirs in me. 
when they press the button. <laughs> the button, it did not work. And they say, hey, sorry. This remote is not for this TV. They pressed all the buttons. Because there's nothing of the TV that is in the remote. They pressed loss. Money. Lives. The color remains the same. What is that thing in the remote of the world that when it is pressed, your color changes? That is a matter. Colossians 3, verse 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above. Set your affections on things above. He said, The things I want to do are the things I don't find myself doing. They are these laws at war in my members. But there is a way we put our focus. Because don't water that tree. That is his, is his secret. Don't water the tree. Because you know that your own, there is this lust, there is this lust that look at, you know, that is around you. That's don't watch that movie. That movie waters the tree, it waters the tree. Each time you watch that movie, your flesh level boosts. What in it before it, it, it. It, that's you call it a pet lion when it grow, when it is grown it will swallow you it will swallow you stop feeding that lion that will swallow you in the future stop that movie set your mind on things not on things on the earth for ye are dead I wish I had time. I would have read. I wanted to read some scriptures for you. But the Lord said, let's leave that. Let's handle this one and pray. For ye are dead. How? And your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life. Shall, you know, there's this scripture I would have read. Uh, because I, I, that scripture is long. But I wanted to do Philip's, Philip's ministry. Philip's ministry is just to read, help read through a passage. So that everybody can understand. Not to explain, just to read through. You see, when Christ who is your life shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify. This is the one I'm going to read in different versions now. Verse 5 to 8. Someone say mortify. You know what is mortify? You know mortuary. Mortify. Therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Listen. Listen. I listen to me. Your members who are upon the earth. That is the problem. You are not of this earth, but you have your members that are of this earth. Understand? Your eyes are on this earth. Your nose, your tongue, your hand, every part of you on this earth. Because there is a way you begin to so focus on your spiritual life. That you forget your members that are on his head. That's why you can grow in your tongue can be changing, but your life is getting worse. Worse. The same guy that is speaking in tongues like this is the one still. Everybody's complaining about him. Pride, pride, pride. Means people arrogant. Everything is growing at once. But the tongue is. Because there is this element of the earth. Keeps chasing and that these are contradictions because on a normal day, your life as a Christian on earth is a contradiction. On a normal day, that you are or not of this earth, but you are in this earth is a contradiction, and this is a contradiction that we must deal with. But you cannot end. One woman came to Kenny Hagin and said, Ah, the brother Kenny Hagin, pray for me. Say, Why this cigarette that the Lord will take it away? Say, Take it away. <laughs> the Lord cannot take this cigar from your mouth. If you buy a cigar, it will enter your mouth. Say, bro, Hagen. That's why some people say, pray for me. This life that I'm living, I don't know. Can you tell God? Nobody can take it. You, the one. Stop that visitation. For your sake.
for Christ's sake. For your sake, for Christ's sake. Mortify, therefore, your members will, which are upon the earth. And it's not mentioning semicolon, fornication. Ah, can you talk to God? believers? Believers, fornication. Ah, what are the man after God's heart? What are the man after God's heart? Fornication. Sir, with your two eyes like this, you will do it. You will do it. My mom told me I can never forget in my life. Say, Steve, you are now stronger than Samson. In case I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. You are not stronger than Samson. Understand? Because we are in this world. Fornication. How do you? How dare you? You hold a girl by the waist. I say, it's my daughter. This girl is my show for crying out loud. Your daughter where? That's how, that's how the devil gives you terminology to destroy you. I feel giving birth. You are not even married. You already have mature daughters here, here and there. And you are holding their waist like your daughters indeed. Huh. You will waste. You will waste, sir. You? How dare you? You are holding. You are holding. Who are you? How many, how many locks of head you have? Are there more than something? My show girls, can't. Oh God, there was this girl like that. They wanted me to be a father. You know, in in her in life, as a father, as a young guy in fellowship, I handed over her directly to one mama in the fellowship. This is your daughter. Oh God, for one person, let me not lose many souls. You. Are you understand? This is my joke. Is it your my, my, my is it one? What happened to your sister? These sisters are there. I I transferred. She may have a genuine heart. I mean to I may have my genuine heart. Eh? <laughs> your body does not know about your conviction. It's your spirit. Look. You are naked, the girl is naked. Go for beat. Now hold yourself. I know what I'm saying. I am the righteousness of. See, you will waste because you will think, because your body does not know your revelation. The members are on it. <laughs> because one way you know that even you, because you are not still in heavenly places, but you are still breathing. You are still in every place where you are still hungry. Can't you see now that there's something about this thing? There's something about this thing. If you let where you are off, blind you from where you are, you will not get to where you are off. No. <laughs> you, are, you are holding night vision, two of you. Okay. No problem. You know. Fornication. I didn't say you are fornicated about leading me in the path of righteousness. In the path of righteousness. That means there's a path of unrighteousness. Yeah, it's not yet righteousness, or is the path. Is a path. Because this thing you have started small, small like this. That's where it's leading to. Before you know, bam, it has happened. Fornication, uncleanness, innocent affection. You know, I wish I can have amplified this thing. We don't have time to, to go through King James matter now. But you know, amplified. Hey, this is your this I've even shared. So kill, deadened, deprived of power. Someone say deprived of power. Those ever desire locking in your members. You know, locking. Is that the word? Is that the pronunciation now? In your members. I need the word locking. Ah, that English is tough. It is, eh? It is what? It's hanging around. You know, look at it. He said, he said, there is that animal matter now. Those animal impulses. You know this thing, look at, 
Look at it. Now, small, small, it is that. I'm telling you, under your nose like this. These are, this, like, play like joke. This pastor that is, you know, this Simon, Simon, you know, Simon, you know, looking like joke now. Simon will kill you if you take his position. But I see a pastor, pastor send hires assassins to another pastor. Why? The thing that's my show. That's my show. Animal impulses until the man will start sleeping with his daughter. And the way, you know, there's something I said yesterday about how that the guy said with normal smoke, smoke you know, until he entered Tramadol. From Tramadol to dry purple leaf. From dry, you know, the one you guys even say yesterday that touched me. Is it yesterday the now? Is poo, dry poo, dry, shit, dried one. Who, am I the only one? Who knows that they smoke that thing? Even gutter. Uh, yes. They will, uh, look at me. Don't laugh. Those guys are in trouble. You will laugh at HIV patients. You know, listen, listen. If you know how far the devil can take you to, you will not take a step with him. You will not take a step with him. Because they, when you took the first step, you know where you were landing, you know, where, where you, you saw the, your front. When you took the first step, but you didn't know the second leg would rise. Because <laughs> as you took it, this one to move. Ooh, this one to move. You may not be seeing this one because you are no more in control of this one. Until the guys are smelling gutter. Animal impulses. The devil knows what he's doing. He just starts from the known to unknown. From the simple to the complex. Concrete to abstract. So until the pastor begins to kill, to preserve the ministry. Ah, ministry, God's work. Huh? Any sick person that I have to kill, to be able to heal, you know the English, but and I have to kill somebody for power to heal. May that sick person die. See, may that sick person die. You know that because I want to heal. Am I your savior? I didn't die for you. No, it's the uncle of that is my belief. That unless there's something you are you are not selling us, are you the savior? Be healed, we're all healed, be healed, we're all healed. Now, and I say, okay, thank you, Miss Sham. To joke, then uh, we'll gain the whole world. Some of you may, may not even be able to gain the whole world, but we eventually lose our soul. Small, small. This issue of ministry, if mini, they, do a, they do or die thing, that ministry must grow, ministry must grow, ministry must grow, and they begin to lie. That's why like Pastor Koa showed us into one place one time. We came to the church, they were using hotel, and they say they are moving to their permanent site. And they say, Oh, you better than if you come there. It's like heaven on earth. What a place of beauty. If this one, I say, Oh, God, we can't wait. On Sunday morning, before morning, I was, I was set. I need to go to the news, the permanent only to go there. It was, it was canopy. Is there. <laughs> but is there anything? Of course, I didn't go back there again. But now, why? In the name of diplomacy. They call it diplomacy. And the devil will give you a name. Give you a name. But eventually, no matter how English you speak, the Lord still knows those who are his. And as ever, the foundation legend can, can never be shaken. It's standard sure. If you like, change the English. It says it's diplomacy. You are lying to keep the ministry. Okay. Oh. I know God, there's a God, God. <laughs> if you want to die for God, die for God in his ways. Because, you know, it's just like, hmm. Hmm. So imagine now, because Taya is your sister. And he says, this brother wants to beat Taya. Eh? Then you now carry pistol. To protect Tai. Tai say, ah! 
Abba. Abba. You, you know, there's a kind of person that will defend you. You regret the person ever defending you. <laughs> you know, because the way the person will take the matter. You see, Abba. I beg. Next time, don't. Help leave me if I perish. I perish. <laughs> that is how you now so you want to now defend God. You now defend God. Is not by Josiah. I can't forget that story because I heard it from Papa Adebu himself. A pastor burned the tracts for evangelism. He printed tracts for evangelism to spread the gospel. Another pastor went and burnt it. And he kept down forgiveness in his heart. Only for him to die and he went to the gate of heaven. And said he cannot come in. How bad? Sir, play the video. Let's see. I was... The unforgiveness was for your sake. It's for your sake I was defending you. Joke. I did miracle you. I didn't say, but this miracle was in your name. Joke. So, the same person that you kid for will now come to the court. You see, my hand is not in it. And that one is going to pay you more. Do you know that if you die and get to heaven, I have to get to hell because of the because of God. Hmm? The pain of betrayal, according to you, will be more painful than the fire of hell. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Because look at people now who gallantly serve Satan and they are aware Satan is. But you do not serve Satan. And you are aware Satan is. So that's why I'm telling you. You see, ministry? If it must, like, like Hudson Taylor would say, God's work must be done in God's way. God's work must be done in God's way. Sexual vices, impurity, sexual, sensual appetites, unholy desires. Holy desires. That's why I see people begin to sleep with animals. It has got you to that point. There's a message I'm trusting God to teach you very soon. Very soon. I don't know when, but as the Lord releases me, on the spirit of the age. The spirit of the age. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to journey on that path. The spirit of the age. There's one issue God helped us address recently, a few days ago, or thereabout. How the two girls who are who, innocent girls, how they entered into lesbianism, they cannot tell. I have had that kind of situation before. Two girls in choir. That one, it was, it was the Lord that showed me that these two girls, they are engaged themselves in lesbianism. They didn't tell me until. And two, they are not lesbians. But they are practicing lesbianism. You see, isn't that English you are speaking now? Nice book. But how did it happen? Is a spirit. When it comes, you begin to practice it. God. Maybe I'm just taking a matter from the middle. Honestly, I'm going to explain that. Is a spirit. No common, no normal person will carry his two eyes and go and sleep with dog. Have you noticed? Now, one of the attributes of the spirit of age that people are stupid animals. If you're on TikTok, you see nonsense. So my feet don't even go there. Animal, how did you get to that point? The spirit of the age. That spirit is an old spirit. It came from Babylon. It's also entered Sodom. There's a scripture that I read, but I didn't have time because I want us to pray. If you open the gate for it, your case will be worse. If you open for it, now you may not be a homosexual, but because you have opened the door, the spirit at work that time is a homosexual spirit. But you are not a homosexual person, but you are practicing it. Why? The energy. It has metamorphosized. To the point where you now practice, you have become a slave to sin. I didn't have time to read Corinthians for us. 
because someday the Lord will take us through that path again. Where you, you get to the point to become, he, he said, ah, you are no longer under the dominion of sin. No. But he said, don't present your members as instruments. Your members could be your eyes. Somebody's member could be mouth. The, you, the way they talk, the way they talk, you know, evil. You are, but, but when it comes to, you know, your, your mouth is like a system that brings out clean water and dirty water. Speaking in tongues today, you are gossiping. That member, oh God, my own is not my eyes, my mouth, my tongue. And if you don't deal with it, it grows. It grows until that is things that looks like it led like jealousy. Jealousy. If if a sister is doing something you cannot do, a thing sparks up within you. Ha! Ah, a time comes it grows into murder. You can kill. And how it will happen? You are not a killer, but you are killing. Because this is spirit of a killer that is, has engulfed you. Small, small. Now it starts. Small, small. Until it gets to that point. Ah. Ah. You ordinary choir. Ordinary choir. <laughs> you already dating girls. You know, this is something that you know, because ten people, you have power over ten people. What if it's one thousand? What if it's one thousand? How come everywhere you go to, you must come to see? And the painful part of it is that your anointing is still boiling. For once, if that Lucifer has flapped his wing and the thing fell, he would have said, Hey, Lord, I'm sorry. Oh. But the guy is still flying. If, if, if something had tried to leave the gate and it fell on him, he would have said, Hey, it is a sign. But he was able to carry it. So the thing grows with the tears. Until it gets to that point of spiritual empowerment, when the devil empowers it. So was that the ability I was telling story one time of a guy, small, small. He started seeing his mother undress. I don't know whether it's this guy, but you know, I try to get the, the beginning of the story now. The guy, the guy, before you know, fornicating with one person, the other, until he got to a point in his life, he has slept over 20 people. Now he got to a point in his life. He's, he he said if he's going through the guy is 21 or 22 or thereabout. When he's going through the ladies hostel and he sees their pan, he wants to be climbing to lick it. Ah, animal impulses. So much more. That flesh before it metamorphoses. We are going to bring it to the cross. And this thing is going to be daily. In case you think it's once and for all. Daily. Follow me. This theory may, may never leave the garden. To always be in the garden. But don't water it. Don't go around it. Flee! Don't negotiate. Youthful lust. Second Timothy 2, verse 22. Don't negotiate. Flee. Don't give occasion. Flee. Who is that person in your life that is a waterer? What is it? Any day I see you, you don't see. Huh? Lizzie, are you there? You know, as you are like this, I bless God for what God is doing in your life. But I cannot say that, I cannot beat my chest and say, Lizzie, 20 years she still, to come, she'll still be with the Lord. I cannot say, no prophet can say it. Only you. Only you can say, oh God, help me walk with you one step at a time. Every day. Listen, if one year from now and two years from now, I see you misbehaving, I am not surprised. Nobody today. 
no be today. Several people have burned when they turn to ashes by the same fire. The same fire. Watch the ashes packing technology. Pack the ashes away every day. Every day. Tell me and see, but you know even that if I leave my consecration now, meet me a few years from now. You never believed I've ever preached. You will not believe I've ever preached. What keeps me? I am at home. I am at home. Do you know the devil by himself will send you to a church where you're lost to a pampered? Ah, Satan is a strategist. Don't you know it works? Don't you know it works? If you want to dilute that political party, send your people there to buy from. <laughs> Let them buy from and contest too as pastors. So Satan has churches. That's what I'm trying to say. So Satan may, Satan may be in PDP, but he's responsible in APC to go and buy the form so that we can dilute the audience. It's a strategy. Don't you know political science? I wish Tosin is here. This is how it works. <laughs> I want to win the election. I'll okay, you I'll get him, give you money to buy a form. Buy a form. All of you buy a form. All of you buy a, buy a form. Win as much people you can win, as much delegates as you can win. But on the last day, submit them to me. So to you, you are following Jesus. Because you think the person you are following is following Jesus, but Judas is carrying what you are following. <laughs> Imagine your mentor is Lucifer because it's the presence of God. The day is coming down, you are coming down. Who's your pastor? Is a question. Are you sure it's not one of those delegates who's who they bought from for? See, but I'm already in church. That is what we are saying. We are still in the party. How you know is that the day you came to that church. That before, when you even misbehave, you know, you know, I told you one story of a, a girl was giving testimony and said, Those days, I, when I went on during holiday, I did something and I, I just stood up and said, I'm the righteous of God. I, after, you know, I thank God for the message of the pastor. Before, I would feel bad. But now, I did something, you know, something. But now, I just stood up and I said, oh, Yes, the kids were not there. Mm, there's none. There for no condemnation hmm? to those who are in Christ Jesus. But there's a clause. If you're a lawyer, you should know the power of a clause. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. But as long as you walk according to the flesh, oh God, there's condemnation for you. There's condemnation for you. Was in one church, everybody you see, you see, people like us that just came in newly were the one that don't have anybody. Those guys they have shared the girls in the choir. Our own disadvantage is that we joined late, they were they have divided themselves. And after, during Yaza, you see, these are just stand around, you know, Riazas. <laughs> see, look for my heart. They were one. You know, you know, so now when we are not even singing, you are the love of my life. You are the love of the rain. You mean more than this world to me. I won't trade for silver no gold. I won't trade for riches not all. You are, you are my everything. And the lady is smiling her life away because it believes. By the way, the first time I heard this statement was from you. You said the devil may not stop you from singing, but it can divert your worship. Do you remember I've ever made that statement? You divert your worship. Oh God, the devil did not die on the cross for me, so he will not use me. The devil, the God, God is the is the Lord of the harvest. Lord, harvest from your vineyard. Harvest from the vineyard.
harvest for your vineyard. I bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you have required. It's such more deeper within, through the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. You search more deeper within. Through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. You search more deeper within. Through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry for the things I've made you when it's all about you. It's all about you. When the music fails, and all is stripped away and I simply come longing just to bring something that's a war that will bless your heart mm. I'll bring you more than a song for a song in this earth it's not what you have required. You search more deeper within. Through the way things appear, you're looking into my heart. Oh, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I made it. When it's all about you, it's all about you, Jesus. King of endless wealth, no one could express how much you deserve. The weak and poor, all I have is yours. Every single breath, I love the sky. I bring you more than a song, for a song in yourself is not what you have required. Search more deeper within for the way things appear. You're looking into my heart. I'm coming back to the heart of worship. When it's all about you, all I love is all about you. I'm sorry. It's all about you. It's all about you. Lord, if you for when I sing. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Can you give me a Jesus? It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about you. Come on, Jesus. It's all Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. Let me see. 
Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. Knowledge can be your problem. Even when God is reaching people, you are analyzing. Ah, you brokenness. There's a there's a way you know too much that you have lost your brokenness because your mind is higher than your heart. Your head has grown larger than your heart. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about Jesus. One day in my life, I, I say, Lord, let my mind, my mind be transformed. That even when God is reaching people, my mind will not be an obstacle. Let my heart swallow my, 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 my head. It's all about you. About you, hey, it's all about you, Jesus. The day when we say, Lord, I notice that the flesh is magnifying at this point of my life, he's taking advantage of my skill, he's taking advantage of my preaching skill, he's taking advantage of my intelligence. The Lord. Lord, help me. The Lord does not take pleasure in flesh. He does not. That's the problem. That's why a lot of people, they know a lot, but God is not using them. Because God wants a broken, a man who is broken. A lady that is broken. Catherine Kuhlman who hide behind the curtains. I say, Lord, I can do nothing. It's all about you, all about you, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. it's all about you, Jesus, it's all about you, all about you, yeah, it's all about you. This arrogance, this arrogance. Lord, I am growing in Bible knowledge, but I'm getting more arrogant. Lord, take this part of me. My intellect. You are growing the hierarchy of the church, hierarchy of the ministry, but you are becoming more puffed up. I wish Lucifer was not lifted, he would have been in heaven. I wish Lucifer was not lifted. I feel notice that the more you grow in the hierarchy, the more your pride is increasing. 
There is a law, now I surrender. I would rather be nothing in the church than be nothing in heaven. That skill that will kill me, uh, that skill, skill that will kill me. Oh God, that skill said that is taken away. Let it for Lord if you can't take it away. Jesus. Oh. Oh. I thought that priests become a cast away. Your life is better. Your life is more valuable to God than your preaching. God needs you more than your singing. If that singing is what powers your flesh, oh God, I would rather be dumb than letting my singing skill be the water that waters my pride. That position that position as though the higher I go in my in the position in church in the position in ministry the higher I climb the further I get from the Lord the higher I climb the further I get from the Lord oh God I would rather not be a leader than be a heart pain to the master I would rather not be a giver than my giving becomes the channel through which the devil has for my life. The channel through which the devil has for my life. Oh God, oh God, that blessing that makes me a pain to heaven. It's all about you. Let it be all about you. Let my life be all about you, Jesus. Let my preaching be all about you. My singing be all about you. Hey, let it be all about you, Jesus. Let my service be all about you. All about you. Hey, let it be all about you. Jesus, let it be all about you. Let my, my, my prayer life be all about you. Hey, all about you, Jesus. Let it be all about you.